Sex trafficking continues to trap Hawaii's vulnerable youth. Some experts say a majority of them come from unprotected foster care. Bronson Doria has the story. The cruel act of human trafficking continues to fuel Hawaii's prostitution problem. Traffickers target vulnerable homeless and runaway children, leaving many at risk here in Hawaii. The children who are sex trafficked are mostly local. The Hawaiian community is at higher risk because they are disproportionately represented in um, areas of poverty, domestic violence, um, incarceration rates. An estimated 2,800 children in Hawaii are at risk for sex trafficking. Most of the at-risk youth are foster children. Nearly half of the children within the services are Native Hawaiian. However, Hawaiian children only account for 34% of the statewide youth population. Currently, the island of Oahu has more than 150 brothels, with most disguising themselves as massage parlors. They still kind of don't see it in Hawaii because it's hidden, but I mean, there's 24-hour massage parlors all over the place. Uh, relaxation spas, gentlemen's clubs, um, even like the hidden brothels that don't even advertise, they look like regular homes. There's also street prostitution in downtown and in Waikiki, um, girls walking the track all the time. With roughly 100,000 ads uploaded each year, ways of tracking and convicting these online sex crimes are increasingly harder. These online prostitution ads are uploaded each day on websites like Backpage and Craigslist. There are a lot of girls and women being sold still online, a, a huge part of the market, um, and Hawaii is not excluded from that at all. Most of these sex ads usually hide behind obscure wording and hints, where they usually charge customers for services like hourly massages. Backpage just recently settled a huge sex trafficking case against them, which is a huge step towards abolishing the sale of children online. As of now, the state of Hawaii has laws against sex trafficking and prostitution. There's not a lot of resources out there still to help them heal in the education system or in the criminal justice system um, or it, in the medical field. So Bronson, what are some effects that survivors experience? Well, these victims report major trauma such as PTSD, HIV, memory loss and depression. But support is available. For more information, check out our website. Thanks, Bronson.